top five reasons as to why creationism is an assault on science. Well, you, you deny your critical thinking skills. It's completely unreasonable. They're pyramids 5,000 years old, for crying out loud, let alone the geologic record, which takes us back four and a half billion years. So to ignore everything that you can see in nature, it's, it's completely unreasonable. I'm trying to be respectful. When I was uh, nine years old, the Earth got three billion people. Now we have 7.2 billion people. We are not going to be able to provide for all those people without science, without sophisticated agricultural practices, without ways to contain outbreaks like Ebola, without a way to curtail uh, carbon dioxide emissions in order to address all those problems. We need scientifically literate people, people who understand the fundamentals of science. Evolution is the fundamental idea in biology. So you're not going to have a next generation of physicians or people to research vaccines without an understanding of evolution. Well, how about rubidium and strontium? You want to start there? What we have found through chemistry is that certain radioactive elements will substitute in certain non-radioactive elements in certain rock crystals. And this is complicated, but it's provable and it works and it's a real thing. So when they do that, you can measure how many of these radioactive atoms got inserted in the crystal. And so you can determine the age of the rocks. And it's not 6,000 years, it's four and a half billion. I mean, to be off by that much is really something. The other thing, just if you like to worry about it from a philosophical standpoint, these people rely on a book translated into English, I, I mean, for lack of a better expression, countless times over the last 5,000 years. And to take that as having more scientific value, uh, being uh, stronger evidence than everything you can observe around you in nature is really an extraordinary claim. We don't want to raise children with that sort of confused view of the world. I mean, what would you be doing if you weren't here? You'd be watching CSI, right? That's what you'd be doing. And in CSI, the whole thing is science. Everybody, they go in the room, they look at the evidence, they track the guy down, and it takes a whole hour, but they do get the guy. Anyway, none of that would work without science. And so if you deny all that, even your television will be unsatisfactory. Oh, by the way, you wouldn't have televisions without science.